so we have a new delivery from Abyss Aquatics this should be quite a special fish for me which I have uh, been trying to get for quite a few years I would say probably for a couple of years I've been looking for this fish but not been able to find them at an acceptable price so hopefully this is the case I have not seen this fish I've ordered them online and I'm hoping that uh, they are what they supposed to be and they are alive and they are good quality so let's let's get it opened So this uh, supposed to be Caridorus multiradiatus, formerly Brochis multiradiatus, also known as Hognosed Caridora. Oh, they are great size actually. Wasn't sure whether they will be adults or semi-adults, but they seem to be quite great size. It's a really beautiful fish and uh, I'm suspecting that the temperature is fairly low as I can feel the bags are cold. Take a measurement of, of the temperature. Well, it's at uh, 21 degrees, which is great actually, considering that it's quite cold outside. And in in case of um, Brochis or Caridorus multiradiatus, they are quite uh, tolerant to temperatures. Actually, they prefer cooler temperatures, and I would say 20 degrees is a perfect temperature for them. So you can see it's a beautiful fish with lots of emerald color. They're different from Caridorus uh, splendens, formerly Brochis splendens, because they grow larger and they have a bit more of this iridescent uh, emerald color on them and also this orange uh, lower part of the body. So potentially I, I will uh, keep this fish in our shallow a long uh, main display tank which will be an unheated tank and uh, uh, some sort of an imitation of a flowing river where this fish will perfectly fit in uh, there are six of them in here and uh, they are all alive as far as I can say they're all great size great shape great quality fish for for a uh, really good price so I'm quite happy with this purchase I wasn't quite sure whether I should buy them now because I don't have uh, our main display tank ready for them and it, it's gonna take me probably a month or two before I can create a setup for them so they will have to stay in a smaller tank in the meantime but I just had to get them because that was an opportunity and uh, I don't think I will have such an opportunity later on uh, these are seasonal fish and uh, normally they are imported from Peru or Colombia but mostly Peru and they're not available all year long so only at certain periods of time. It's been about 10 minutes and I have allowed the fish to stay in their bags uh, with the box open so that they get used to the daylight because they've been there in the darkness for quite a while and I can see they're moving around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drip acclimate them. I'm usually using this sort of a bucket uh, to drip acclimate new fish and I'm going to add some uh, fresh filtered water in this bucket of a temperature that's just one degree uh, higher than the temperature in the bags so there will be no dramatic change but this is a fresh water that this is fresh water that will help to dilute some ammonia that most likely accumulated inside the bags and we'll start we'll start with the first one Unfortunately, Abyss Aquatics uh, are using these metal clips and I'll have to cut through the backs. I don't like cutting through the backs because I prefer to keep the backs, but in that particular case, that's not possible. Normally, the, open, uh, the moment we open the back, ammonia will be accumulating, so it's important to release the fish as soon as as soon as possible a 
that's the second one. So I'm going to add an air stone and uh, I will uh, remove some of this water, the water that did come with them and replace, them, replace it with a similarly temperature filtered water, clean filtered water. And uh, then I will be slowly adding water into this, back, uh, into this bucket from uh, the tank, from the tank that where they will eventually uh, be leaving. And for now I'll just close them down with a lid so that they will calm down and uh, slowly acclimate. Uh, it's been approximately uh, 10 days uh, since uh, we got uh, this Corridoras Multiradiatus. They've been quarantined in a plastic tub, which I didn't show you. And now I move them to the tank where they will be again temporarily until we set up our uh, main display tank. This is a tank where I have my cardinal tetras and uh, checkerboard uh, cichlids. They seem to be quite settled, although they're still quite uh, quite shy and uh, hiding a lot and uh, not being very active overall, to be honest. But I, I would probably expect them to be a bit more active if there was uh, some sort of a flow or fast current and uh, they would probably enjoy that, but I cannot, I can't have too much current in this tank because of the smaller fish in here. I'm going to uh, try to throw in some live black worms which I'm uh, cultivating in one of the tanks in my fish room in here. I have some live black worms and I'm going to collect them right now and I'm going to try to entice uh, this uh, uh, Corridors to come out and feed on them because they really enjoy uh, those uh, black worms and I feed them usually every day some <coughs> live black worms uh, because they are wild caught fish and obviously they would enjoy something like that so I will collect now some black worms uh, don't know if you can see there is kind of a whole bunch of them in here I'll try to focus on it and uh, in here yeah yep so we've got here lots of live black worms here they are and we're going to try to feed them to Caridoras just bear with me while I'm doing all these things Yep. They usually initially get scared of me doing that, but oh, here we go. They realize that worms are in there and uh, they are in their feeding mode right now. They really enjoy this uh, black worms and they kind of always get a bit more active when the black worms are around. So these are healthy fish, uh, they're feeding well, they're really beautiful. But uh, yes, I don't have a specific tank where I would like to keep them right now. So they have to stay in here, but uh, once our main display tank will be ready, uh, they will be moved in there and that will be a much larger setup with, with lots of space for them to swim and lots of current and also cooler temperature. They, they like cooler temperatures, they like room temperatures actually, but because of all these cardinal tetras in here, I have to keep this tank at about 25 degrees Celsius, which is uh, probably a bit too much for 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 brochus, um, for generally for this uh, genus of Corridors. So that's it uh, for now and I'll keep you updated on how this uh, new fish settle and don't, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I'll see you pretty soon in other videos.